The Primus Elite Advanced Features Phase 3 display units use charts, maps, and synthetic vision databases that are loaded using the DL1000 data loader. There are several changes to the data loading process with Phase 3 from previous versions, so even experienced users will need to pay close attention to the new process. Database pre-processing is no longer required before loading updates to the aircraft. Also, the database status and upload pages have been moved to the maintenance pages of the ND. In this video, we will show you how to download databases to an SD card or USB drive and then load the databases to the DU. For this procedure, you will need the updated databases downloaded from the INDS website to an SD card or USB 2.0 drive with at least 4 gigabytes of capacity. To download database updates from the INDS website, you will need a computer with Windows XP or later, a high-speed internet connection, and an INDS subscription. To download the databases, log on to the INDS website at epicinds.com and click on Databases. You can choose to view subscriptions by database or by aircraft. We will pick Aircraft. Once you locate your aircraft, check the boxes next to the databases you want to download. Click Package for EXE to begin downloading the databases. While you are waiting on the download, connect your USB drive or SD card to the computer. Once the download completes, open the file. After reviewing the documents, click Next to begin. Make sure the boxes are checked under each database you want to update. Select either the USB drive or SD card as the destination, depending on what you are using. Once the files are copied, click Finish, close the program, and eject your portable drive. On board the aircraft, power on the data loader. Once the land indicator turns green, wait another 15 seconds, and then slide the dust cover open and insert the SD card or USB drive. Push the Menu Legacy button on the CCD to access the on-screen menu buttons. Using the CCD, click on the Map menu and select Maintenance to access the main status page. Click the Data button to view the database status page. The currently loaded databases with date stamps are displayed. Click the DB Load button to access the data loading page and click on Start to begin the data loading process. DUs can be updated simultaneously by using the on-side CCD to repeat the same procedure for each side. While the data is loading, each DU displays its load progress and updates at a rate independent from the other units. The Stop button is active if you need to stop the load for any reason. Do not remove the USB drive or SD card while the data load is in progress, or you will have to restart the load. When the database load completes, it should display zero errors. Once all on-site DUs have completed loading, the Stop button will change to an Exit button. Click it and verify the effective dates on the database status page. It takes about a minute for the chart's date to appear. Successfully loaded databases display the effective dates in green. Any database that does not load correctly is labeled bad file or no file, and you will need to reload it. After all the databases are loaded, it is very important to cycle power on each DU that was updated to ensure it reads the new database. This completes the process. The Primus Elite databases are now updated. For more details about downloading databases, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide or the Maintenance Manual. For technical assistance, contact the Honeywell Technical Operations Center.